So yesterday there was this big news story about llamas. There were two llamas that somehow escaped a llama farmer who had brought the llamas to an assisted living facility in Phoenix, Arizona. Now after the people at the assisted living facility had fun with the llamas, they were petting them. I, I didn't know that those types of activities took place, but whatever, it's Arizona. <laughs> um, you never pet a llama? I've, I have pet a llama, but not in an assisted living facility. <laughs> I feel like it'd be a lot easier to bring puppies or kittens. Like, why llamas? But anyway, nonetheless, why not? nonetheless, the llama farmer wanted to uh, load the llamas back onto a vehicle, and apparently two of them escaped. So two of them escape, and they're running away from the cops. Like, the cops are trying to get a hold of them, and there was, like, this high-speed pursuit that lasted for about an hour, okay? And what amazed me about the story was how much attention people were paying to it. Now, of course, we're doing a video on it, which is kind of ironic, but it's more of a criticism of the media, because why is this an important news story? Why does everyone care? My Twitter feed was blowing up with a number of very, very credible, legitimate news sources just having a blast with the story. Um, and then there was Don Lemon, who decided to interview an expert on this very serious matter. Let's take a look. I want you to meet my friend Pierre. He is a celebrity llama, and he joins me now along with llama handler Susan Gural. I don't want to make any false moves here. Oh, that's okay. But this, it's fine. It was, this llama's famous. Pierre is famous. He is. Why? He's been on Saturday Night Live, and he actually walked the Greenwich Village Parade. He's done quite a few things. Are they known to escape like today and, and oh, run Oh yeah, around? they like to run. They like to run. Pierre likes to run if he can. And uh, you always have to have a catch pen. <laughs> what did they do wrong today? How did the llama, 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 how did the llama, <laughs> how did the llama escape? Did they do something wrong, you think? Oh, they might have just left the gate open or a fence went down. Mm -hmm. I don't know how they escaped. Yeah. Um, how fast can they go? They're fast. Up to 35 miles an hour? Maybe. Maybe <laughs> faster. What, they're, they're fast. Are they mean animals? No. No. They're not mean. Well, we're all... They're very docile. Oh, Pierre. Pierre's pretty cute, right? And they're actually natural guard animals for sheep. Yeah. All right. Yes. Thank yes. you. Are we done? Are we out of time? We... Nope. Yep. <laughs> all right. We'll yep. be right back. Bye, Pierre. Bye-bye. Thanks for coming in. Wow. So the CNN producers really did work hard to make that segment just hard hitting. fly. Hard do, we know, do we know if CNN tonight, I, I think Don's in New York now. Do we know is that in New York or in Atlanta? Anyone know offhand? No idea. Let, let's I think just, Atlanta. Either, is Atlanta. So either, e either way, whether it's New York or Atlanta, these are big cities. CNN thought, a booker thought, we're going to get a llama and bring it into this giant, if it's New York Time Warner Center, this giant building in the middle of Midtown or at the, at the one in Atlanta. And like, just for that, like, and that's gonna be news. People will watch that. It's incredible. But people, here's the thing. I kind of don't blame CNN because people will watch that. Yeah. I mean, that's kind of the amazing part of it, right? Again, I go back to my Twitter feed. I'm following so many huge news publications that report on so many serious topics, right? I mean, I could expect this kind of story from Gawker or BuzzFeed or something like that, but no, you have like, the LA Times and the New York Times writing about it and tweeting about it. And you're like, why are we talking about two llamas that are being chased down? Why is this a big deal? Well, I think it was funny, for one thing. Obviously, They run was, in a funny way. They like, run in a funny yeah. way. It's a, you can have great helicopter shots, so there's great video they of that. So yeah. there, there is some fun. They put a great deal of resources toward getting the helicopters up in the air to, yeah. to photograph this stuff. So I think it was funny, and it was fun, but what surprised me was the amount of time spent on it. I mean, it's one thing if you're going to have a slow speed chase down in a, in, a, in a box in the corner on your screen while you then stop and talk about really serious stuff, and then you just you know sort of follow along the story. But, but turning a whole segment over to it is just, to me, mind-boggling. Because, you know, every time they talk about something serious, you know, my wheelhouse, environment, and energy, every time they even bother to mention it, they'll then stop and say, well, that's all the time we have. We're going to have to leave it there. Thanks, guys. Yeah. But they spent like 15 minutes on this thing. Why yeah. didn't they get the experts, the real experts? You get the Dalai Lama to come oh. in and talk about this. You get 80s uh, star Lorenzo Lamas. Why wasn't he asked? There you go. You know what I mean? They don't do that. Instead, you're talking to a llama. But yeah, I feel lamb. like they went to the purest source for the important information. The actual llama. <laughs> yeah, the actual That's what um, CNN does. I caddied for a llama one time. <laughs> Yeah, and, is that uh, right? He didn't give me a tip, but he did say on my death, but I would achieve complete consciousness. So I got that going. That's pretty good. <laughs> uh, wait, real quick point to your like th to your idea of like why do they do this? Like I was tweeting about it the entire time, and I was watching CNN, and I think I realized why it was fun was because we 
talk about, and the news cycle is so yeah. constantly negative all the time, and beheadings and burnings and awful shit constantly. And it was actually kind of fun watching some yeah. llamas. And everyone's tweeting about it, making funny llama jokes. And I was like, this is just an hour break yeah. from the endless crime. But it went so, on and on and Yeah, on and then it just doesn't stop. And then it was yeah, in sure. Washington. Yeah. Apparently there were some more llamas that got loose, too. I, I agree with Desi when it comes to the length of it. Look. I do the second hour of the show, okay? <laughs> I'm not above anyone. So I totally understand the need for fun stories to kind of loosen people up after hearing about ISIS and the economy and all the other disastrous things that are happening in the, in, in the world, right? But at the same time, it's, it's interesting because you have a news source like CNN that will spend days <laughs> or weeks on a missing flight while they ignore every other story. I mean, CNN, you can't say, yeah, they're doing really hard-hitting news all the time, so they got to lighten it up a little bit. Not really. You know what I mean? No, they, no. they focus almost exclusively on that kind of stuff yeah. now. By the and way, and the, the serious news is sort of an afterthought. Yeah, and the difference is, of course, for all you addressed this already, but for all the people that would say, well, what do you guys do? You're doing the same thing. You're talking about them talking about it. But you don't have to click here. That's the difference. You know yeah, what I mean? You could, you could love the young Turks and be like, well, I don't want to hear about the llama story or the whatever. You don't have to click it. As opposed to CNN, you can't pick when things are being discussed or the length with which they're discussed. So it is a little bit. That's a great point. Yeah. This is very much on demand. Whatever you want, you get to watch. Well, well, llamas, those, the way to see them run, they, they run, they make me, they're like the Marx Brothers of animals. <laughs> they're funny. Right? That's how the funny. Our Marx Brothers would be if they were an animal. That's what it looked like. It's, yeah. I don't know. They're they're adorable. I love llamas. I want to get one now. You yeah, know? they are really cute. Don't, oh, they are. They look like you. Just... <laughs> <laughs>